Day is a very somber day across the country as we mark 22 years since the darkest time in a, one of the darkest times in American history. We lost nearly 3,000 people on 9-11 and today we will honor those lives at memorials all over the country including right here in Connecticut. Roger Suzanne has been on this story for us. There are a lot of events going on both big and small Roger. Absolutely Nicole and Wendell you're exactly right about that and of course listen we remember all of the men and women that we lost on September 11th every Every single day but today Americans around the country will pay tribute to the victims and the survivors at events scheduled from coast to coast let's begin by taking you to New York City this is actually a live look at the 9-11 memorial in Manhattan as you can imagine there are a long list of ceremonies and memorials that will take place there throughout the day and of course we are also remembering the tragedy right here in Connecticut this is a live look at our state capitol in Hartford, as you can see, the flags are flying at half staff this morning. Now, listen, if you're looking to attend a ceremony or a memorial here in Connecticut, you have many, many options. This morning at 8.30, the Bridgeport Fire Department will host a 9-11 remembrance ceremony. We know that Congressman Jim Himes will attend that memorial along with other leaders, including Bridgeport's mayor and fire chief. Also in Greenwich, Governor Ned Lamont will participate in a 9-11 memorial ceremony at Cost Cobb Park. That event begins at 8.45. You may remember the first plane crashed into the North Tower at 8.46 a.m. And finally, if you're busy early this morning but want to pay your respects to the victims, you can attend a 9-11 memorial at the Wilton Fire Department that begins at 10 a.m., so a little bit later for you. We've posted more information about other 9-11 memorials on our website, wfsb.com. Nicole?